Alright, so as you can see, we are on the MineHQ network. SOTW for HD Teams was around like 3 or 4 o'clock. I, I don't know for sure, but it's currently 7.40 for me right now. So we're a little late. I don't even have a rank, so that's why I'm waiting in queue for so long. I literally waited for like a long time. But we are going to try, and I think I'm just going to go solo this map. Because I guess there's no kits at all except for like the mining kit. So it's just pure diamond PvP. It's like old Kohi, basically. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna go solo, but next map, I believe, I'm gonna try and do some recruiting. Uh, so, I'm also gonna put a Discord that I just made because I heard that that's actually a pretty decent way to uh, make a server that would be like safe IP wise and stuff like that. So, I will put my Discord in the description. You can connect to that. Make sure you just download it and verify your account or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I will just talk to random people, just kind of get a feel for everyone. We'll just hang out sometimes. But I will have, t I will be like busy a lot. I might just have to go solo. I'll just sit in my office channel and do solo let's plays because that's what I want to get out for you guys. But yeah, all right. This intro has been way too long. So let's see some hype for SOTW here on HD Teams and for the solo let's plays because I'm really going to try and do my best again, just like I did in Arcane. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so as you see, we are finally at spawn on map 16 here on HE Team. So I did a little bit of fishing. I got a piece of leather. So I'm actually going to, we're going to run out. We're going to mine a little bit, hopefully get back in time with our PVP timer so that we can sell some stuff and get some money and then hopefully run back out with PVP timer, make a little hut thing base out of cobblestone probably, and just hopefully have a hut on South Road just because, yeah. That's just the goal right now, so... Actually, I'm gonna see if I can find cords to LOL, it's Alex, or Pain Train. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but I gotta go mine. And I'll probably... I'm gonna try and do some tips in this Let's Play, like SOTW tips and like other stuff, just because I had a comment uh, asking about some stuff as to like how you can learn to what to do in certain situations and stuff like that and i've played a good amount i'm not nearly i'm not the best by any means but i have a good amount of experience to where i could help give tips so yeah all right i'm gonna go mine <laughs> all right so i'm just getting wood i'm just gonna get this last tree so basically you just want to get wood right away obviously because that's what you need in order to get anything else in minecraft but then Obviously, we're going to go mining. Basically, as soon as you get wood, you want to go mining just because you can get ores quickly so that you can get a bigger claim, obviously. But uh, typically, you're going to want to try and find a, a cave, but that's not always possible. I'm probably going to look for about a minute. If I don't find a cave, I'm just going to dig straight down. I'm going to strip mine. But yeah, I'll just keep doing little updates and it looks like, yeah, I'm probably just going to hopefully run and find nothing at all yeah i'm just gonna dig straight down like right here pretty much so yeah we're gonna mine real quick so yeah we'll be back all right so i've been mining like barely any time we found this chest or mine cart so we're gonna just what all right that was weird i don't know what happened. oh we got melon seeds that's great Ooh, and we got two chests from it like glitch but basically we just got to get full iron real quick then we'll make an iron set and then from there we're just gonna make an iron pickaxe and whatnot so that we can uh get redstone and whatnot or whatnot. I'm going to stop saying whatnot, but just get redstone so that we can uh, sell that because that's going to be the main thing that we sell. I'm not sure if I'm going to explore this uh, mine shaft really just because I see it. Oh my gosh, we just spawn found a spawner. I'm going to have to blur the cords. This is insane. <laughs> it's a zombie spawner. So yeah, I'm going to have to mark this up. I'm going to not mark it up, leave a waypoint for myself. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We found a spawner right away. So yeah, be sure to waypoint spawners obviously or write them down something just because it's necessary to have spawners and whatnot so yeah we're gonna keep mining all right so we actually just found our first vein of diamonds i'm not really sure oh never mind it's only one wow that is such a troll oh my gosh i can't even believe that but right now we're just mining obviously we're just gonna try and uh get a good amount of everything i don't have that much actually right now if you really think about it but i don't know we can there's still some more stuff up there so that's what for sure what i'm going to get lapis if you didn't know lapis sells for a ton hd teams actually understands the rarity and valuableness as to mining lapis and whatnot so if you're trying to get money lapis is one of the best ways to do that so be sure to mine lapis but 
We gotta keep mining. We need money. All right, we literally just found this vein of diamonds. I'm just been like trying to strip mine right now. Hopefully, okay, we got five diamonds. So right now we have a total of six. That's pretty good right now. That's enough to make a pickaxe. Actually, we could get some obsidian if we wanted. I might do that because I have 13 minutes. So, and we're doing pretty good this mining trip. Basically, you just wanna like, you wanna rush as much as you can just because you have this invincibility of PvP timer. But you gotta remember, if you're not playing you gotta remember what server you're playing because it's not the same on every server. Sometimes there's fall damage when you have PvP team or sometimes there's not. Sometimes you're invincible to lava and stuff like that. So you just gotta keep it in mind. Learn, obviously, from experience, I guess. I don't know because, yeah, everything's different. But we're gonna keep mining, obviously. <laughs> All right, so we actually just found our third vein of diamonds, four diamonds. That's so good. I also got some uh, obsidian, too, so that was really good. But I think I'm gonna go to spawn now since my PvP, tim PvP timer is getting really low. So, yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go try and get. I'm gonna get as high as I can in this mine. Yeah, I'm just gonna start taking straight up right now because I need to get the spawn. So yeah, we'll be back in spawn. All right, so we are at spawn. They actually put the shop like right in the center, so that's kind of really convenient. We're gonna sell. I made the stuff into blocks, so we're gonna sell the lapis. F slash F D all. I kind of moved closer to my mic. Sorry about that. If I got louder. So we're at 896. That's actually like enough to like not have to sell anything else i think i'm gonna keep my iron just because i could always use it so yeah this is what i got from mining good amount of stuff not too bad we got melon seeds which is really nice and got a little bit of leather we could do with getting some uh sugar cane though so let's see how much that is um reeds are 1k yeah i don't even have enough of that but we are gonna go claim hopefully by uh LOL, it's Alex, kind of, just because I want to have a somewhat high traffic area. So, yeah, I'll I'll bring you guys back once I get over there, just because I know it's going to take a while, and I have five minutes to do so, so hopefully it'll go quick. E. All right, so I found a decent claim. We're like 180 away from Rice Gum, which is should be close to Alex's base, I'm pretty sure, because I claimed over by Team Green, which is actually like, if you have food Team Red, that's actually Team Green. So they always claim by Alex. So that's, if you want to find Alex's cords, there you go. That's how you pretty much do it. Just go by Team Green. Make sure you can find out what fact they're actually in. So, yeah, I got to find out. Uh, there we are. Where I can actually claim from. F claim. All right, so we got our wand. We have to make sure we uh, claim this right. I want to claim into this mountain, kind of. Just because I know I can make, like, Kind of some traps, not really. I'm not really a trapping type of person. $66. All right, we can go a little bit farther. So in case some of you guys don't know how to claim, you basically left click to set the first pillar and right click to set the next one. So oh, that's a little bit too much, a little bit too much. And then once you find the amount that you can claim. All right, so that's a pretty good size claim, I'd say. So once you find the claim that you want, you have to hold shift, as you can see I'm crouching right now, and then left click. Hopefully it doesn't teleport me outside. What the heck, something happened. I honestly don't know what just happened. F map, F map. What is happening? My Minecraft is literally no FPS. Uh oh, something happened again. All right, we're good. All right, so as you can see, we have set this as our F home right now. I'm actually gonna dig out a little hole right here. Oh, it looks like someone kind of already tried to. All right, we're gonna dig this out, set our F home, and then I'm probably just gonna run out and mine. Hopefully I won't die at all, because then, yeah, that'd be really, really tragic. Oh, dang it, there's a hole in this. All right, never mind. we're gonna go down lower. Well, that was kind of a rip. All right, we're going right here. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go do stuff. <laughs> All right, so I ran out of my base to go mining. I literally like rode a boat like the entire way here. There's like such a big ocean in this. I don't know why you would want that in a HCF map, but that's all right. But we have finally found sugarcane. Oh, this is a relief because then I don't have to worry about buying it or anything. So yeah, now we can at least, uh, when we go back, we can make an enchanter and then uh, just have enchants and that'd be really good it's very helpful to have that especially on sftw but all i have is an iron sword right now so if someone does find me i probably will die because i'm not even an enchanter or anything but we're gonna go mining regardless but yeah oh, oh pretty much sftw is mining oh but we found cows now and we need all them loots Ooh. yes thank you for the leather a 
freaking village would be so cool right now too but we're gonna kill everything right now because we like food is a necessity obviously to live so yeah that's what we're doing all right i need to go mining we'll be back probably with a little bit of mining highlights and some tips probably with mining that i know of as well so yeah we'll be back all right so we've actually been strip mining for a while that's what i recommend on sotw is to strip mine especially when you can't haste five but I kind of want to just talk about something to consider while mining. So as you saw, this was a block of like two by two uh, of diamonds. That's one of the main things that you could, or veins that you could find. And then there's also different ones. So like say, say this would be like oh, typical of iron. So replace that gravel right there. Actually, I'm gonna dig it out. Dang it, really? All right, so replace. So this is iron right now, all the cobblestone I'm placing. This is a typical type of vein that you could find of iron and same with uh, redstone even sometimes. Redstone even sometimes will come in in veins like this. So always check like blocks behind it. So like say you mine this, but like there's blocks right here. Always mine diagonal to it and even check this corner. It might be right there. So that's one tip I could give to mining at least. Like veins are always similar and like just study them. Try and remember them. I mean, okay, we'll try and guess. So we'll go into here so it's not there. So I'm gonna assume that this one is, might be a, like that corner thing that I'm talking about. So that they're diagonal to each other. So it's not on that side and it's right there. See, see, look what I was talking about. It was just what I was just talking about, li literally. So if you just study or veins like that, you can basically get to know what veins are possible and that way you don't miss out on any resources. So that's one tip I can give to you guys uh, for mining. And then I'll save some other tips for other episodes or something. So yeah, as you can see, I'm at eight diamonds and I'm using my diamond pickaxe and it's already like half durability. So hopefully we can get more stuff before it breaks, but I'm obviously gonna use like iron pickaxes and whatnot because I want to try and save my diamonds as much as possible. Hopefully make a set and yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do, but yeah, I'm gonna finish mining it now. Okay, so I literally just did pull coals right here. On my last one, I found some diamonds. So that's also something I could probably recommend is just try and pull coals. I'm not gonna mess with lava because I don't like lava at all. So, oh yeah, bring a water bucket, duh. That's kind of common sense, but maybe some people don't even think about it. But I always recommend it. It usually saves my life like, like once every two or three maps. So yeah, that's something I recommend. We're just gonna keep mining though. Doing pretty good right now, but yeah. Not enough, we gotta keep going. Also, I guess another little, little quick tip, is like while you're mining, pay attention. Like, as you can see, I'm breaking this pretty quick, but like, look, I can break it just as quick with my sword. That means it's silverfish. So obviously just be on the lookout for that and look, more of them spawn as you, if you don't kill them fast enough. So that's just something to look out for because I've seen people die in chat and that's kind of, that's kind of embarrassing if you ask me, but yeah, obviously we're still mining. We broke that diamond pick but we're just picking up everything that's one thing that i'd say just literally grab everything that you can i'm a pretty thorough miner when it comes to stuff like that but yeah i pretty much just mine everything possible so hopefully i can get out of here soon because i'm sick and tired of mining already and it's only ssdob so that means i'm still gonna have to go mining quite a bit that was probably way too far away from my mic i'm sorry about that so yeah all right hopefully We'll have enough of this mining business. All right, so we're like really close to base, but then there's this, oh my God, I'm an idiot. Watch this guy somehow catch me or survive now. We'll see if he's, oh, he's got PVP timer. All right, time to just get into base, holy cow. I don't wanna die. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was a lot of fall damage. All right, don't be an idiot. F set, home, oh, home. Oh, all right, we made it to base. We have all this valuable stuff, kind of. I mean, we have enough to make a diamond set, which is really good. And yeah, like pretty, pretty decent, like SOTW mining trip, considering what I started off with too. So yeah, got to smell some stuff. I'm going to make a base. I'm going to set up a farm, hopefully get enough so I can make an enchanter with the re with the sugar cane. Actually, I could make one right now. That'd be kind of good. I think I'm going to, I got to do some digging though, I think so. Yeah, I had to do a whole bunch of base work. Okay, so I set up a farm or whatever. I enchanted a full diamond set. It is not all protection. Actually, yeah, but like the two main parts are for protection, so that's really good. And we got a sharp one sword, but I need to actually close off some areas around my base just because F map, because, oh gosh, little leg right here. Okay, so it's the diamond 
or it's the gold right there or is it is it oh it is the redstone all right so i want to close this off right here for now we're going to turn this into a trap possibly so i just want to close this off so i can operate in here without dealing with any hooligans all right so this is all right right here this is youtube the youtube's faction so i'm gonna get rid of that because otherwise i'll probably forget so all right we are completely safe coming in here then so that is really good i'm gonna be sure to actually block this up somehow let me see if i i don't actually i don't even have any dirt i'm gonna just mine this real quick i think i might try and camp some people not to like be a scum or anything but like just because that's like the easiest thing to do as in hopefully maybe get some pvp or something but uh yeah we'll see what happens nothing's for sure obviously so i'm gonna block this up real quick all right so now this is just yeah who knows we'll turn this into something at some point i just need to make it so that i can operate in it actually in safety Ooh, i'm gonna have to turn that into stone but maybe we'll turn this into something i have no idea yet but yeah let's go maybe find some pvp who knows <laughs> Oh, Rain Dynasty is outside of his base. Alright, chill, dude. Oh my god, he scared the crap out of me. Hopefully he'll be chill with me. I don't really want to mess with him. Biggest fan, Screeny. Um, not right now. It's way too sketchy to try and do that. Who <laughs> Rain Screen? He wants a Screeny, dude. Um, sorry. Sorry. Alright, I'm sorry, I can't do that right now. It's just way too risky at the moment. I don't wanna. I really don't wanna die, especially with. Aw, oh, rip. I'm definitely gonna die. They're definitely gonna try and kill me right now. I guarantee it. Ugh. Oh, this is bad. Alright, we are running to base, because I do not trust these hooligans right now. Holy cow. But there is a iron right there. See if he has. Oh, and they have pearls. Always oh, got PvP timer. Oh boy. Yep. Ha. Well, yeah. You said you want to be. Yeah, you're just a scumbag. You're not gonna come in. He probably has pots too, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah. Nothing I can do right now, obviously. So I'm probably. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Obviously, I can't really do much at all. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to end off the episode here. So, if you guys did enjoy this new style or uh, idea that I have of trying to, like, give tips while I play and whatnot, or, like, if I find something that you could probably pick up that would help you while trying to play HCF, uh, let me know. I really would appreciate the feedback, considering that I'm going to try and do this on a regular type of thing, kind of. So, yeah, just let me know. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe because a lot of people that end up watching my videos aren't even subscribed and I just kind of find it odd that you wouldn't want to subscribe even though there's tons of people that just watch the video. So subscribe, please do it for me. And also uh, don't forget to leave a comment because I do read them all and I do reply to most of them or at least I leave some type of uh, like mark that I was there. I usually leave it a like or something. So yeah. All right. We'll see you in the next episode of the Let's Play here on AC Teams. See ya.